Promise will never grow up and the stars when a light our way forth Cause I can't bear the thought of you facing it alone without me Let us vow to God our youth this treasure all this hope we don't value Size towards how precious these moments truly are. are. For you've loved and you've lost too many a thing, but we'll keep and give it always. And all You see, there is no way we can lose out. Oh, for you've loved and you've lost too many a thing, but we'll keep him getting always and up here. Up here, no one can harm us. Up here, up here, forever young. Now, promise will never, promise will never grow old. Up here, and up here. will never grow I'm here with Anna Pancaldi before her big gig at the Heron Hounds tonight in Kings Heath. You've been supporting Kimberly Ann on her tour. How has it been for you? Yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. I'm sad that tonight's the last night because it's yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely need to do a world tour next year, hopefully. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. <laughs> um, recently, you've been part of the Levi's campaign where your song "A Little Bit of Love" was the soundtrack, and you were in the video as well. How was that? That must have been pretty cool. Yeah, it was really surreal actually. I've never done anything like that. You kind of get used to doing the music thing. And so it was really weird to sort of be in it, but it was so much fun. We went to four different countries and did so many things for the first time. So that was kind of the premise behind the video for the new yeah. line of jeans. Um, so paragliding, I think jet skiing were like my favorites, but yeah, but yeah. absolutely having my music on there was the best. It was brilliant to be on it, but you know, being a single songwriter to be able to have my track on the background was yeah. just, yeah, ridiculous. So you had to jump off a cliff in Portugal, yeah. was it? That looked um, 
a little scary. Yeah, it's weird actually, because I think if we weren't filming, I would have never done that. So it's really strange the things that you'll do for camera. Yeah. That you absolutely, if you were with your friends, you'd be like, no way, Jose. And yeah, it was slightly terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> look good though, look good. Um, so you've got your EP, Black Tears, out, and also your single, A Little Bit of Love, which was on the Levi's campaign. Have you got anything for the future planned? Yes, I literally came out of the studio two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I spent five days, realised I hadn't been outside in all of the five days. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it was a bit weird. I was like, gosh, there's a sky out there. Um, but yeah, so I've recorded that. So that's coming out in March next year, which feels nice. like quite a way away. But there's lots going on before yeah. that. So yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, you're brought up in quite a musically orientated family. What was your kind of inspirations for like getting into music and getting into the music industry? I have all, yeah, I've always grown up sort of listening to incredible music my dad's a singer actually all of my family can sing apart from my mummy <laughs> poor mum <laughs> um and yeah it was weird actually I was talking to a friend about it last night and it really hasn't ever been anything that I ever questioned whether I do it or not I've kind mm. of always just known that I would do music and I yeah. love it so much it's kind of no plan b so I've just kind of I've got to make it work just that was it <laughs> yeah exactly absolutely <laughs> i saw on your website that you um traveled across quite a few different countries playing your music and all that sort of stuff and um, did that influence you in your music or personal life and was it pretty cool yeah i loved it i didn't um i wouldn't say that it really sort of affected the way that i wrote music or anything but it was beautiful in the sense that i just had time you know there was no mm. routine i got out of all the normal things that i was doing at home and just get to move from country to country. I took my little teeny weeny guitar with me that's sort of made for like a four year old. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and just sort of wrote and gigged along the way, but it was just absolutely priceless, just having time, honestly. It yeah. sounds like such a, a boring thing to say, but it helped me creatively in, yeah. yeah, in an amazing way, yeah. What was your favorite place that you went to? I think Nepal, actually. Oh, yeah. I've heard good stuff. It was the biggest, I think it was the biggest culture shock. Mm. Um, I used to live in South Africa, and for some people that can be quite a culture shock, but Nepal was just a whole nother level. Like I yeah. remember getting to Kathmandu, my friend and I were like, I don't know what to do, like, where do we go? What on yeah. earth are we gonna do? But yeah, incredible, absolutely amazing, yeah. stunning. Oh, that's cool. Did you um, ever go to university like we do? Did you, <laughs> did you do that? Yeah, I started actually. Um, I started a music degree and then I dropped out. Nothing, oh. nothing against my <laughs> university, nothing against that at all. But I think, um, just for me, I just really wanted to be writing and yeah. performing. It's not and for so, everyone. Yeah. yeah. So I totally am not encouraging anyone to drop out of university <laughs> or to not go. But for me, like, it was just, it was the right thing. Yeah. So, um, Do you yeah. think that you missed out on the uni lifestyle or did you get quite a good taste of it when you were there? No, I definitely didn't miss out. I'm, I, yeah, I'm a massive socialite, so I definitely don't, um, I don't miss out on any of that. So I think, yeah, I think it just depends on personality-wise, really. Mm. Um, but no, I had a great time while I was there. And I also went to college there. It was sort of at the same, same place. So um, yeah, no, definitely, definitely not. I don't like staying at home. I'm definitely one for being out and about. <laughs> <laughs> so because you've been on tour and you've done lots of travelling, have you got any funny memories of any of it? <laughs> Um, we left um, on tour with Kim Leanne. We left Brighton on on Sunday, actually, and just um, we were just in absolute hysterics. It's just about the most ridiculous. Thing. Actually, this sounds like the worst story ever because I can't even remember what it was about. <laughs> but actually, I was playing somewhere last night, which wasn't with Kim, and there was this, this little kid at the front that was just like, "Why do you wear a hat?" And I sort of explained it to him, like it was about five, and I was like, "Is that okay?" He's like, "Yeah." And then oh. uh, sort of halfway through my set, he was like, are you, are you nearly finished? And I was like, no. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, no, it's just been, the tour's been fantastic with Kim. We've just laughed so much and we're friends. So it's kind of really lovely yeah. to be away with friends and sharing these experiences Doing together. things you love. Um, yeah, friends. absolutely. Lots of eating, lots of eating. Watching Mean Girls on the tour bus was a Oh, you can't get any better than that, yeah. can Homemade you? oat cakes, homemade cake and Mean Girls. Lovely. Just sounds like perfect, really, doesn't it? <laughs> so you're excited to play Birmingham tonight? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I've come. I've played before um, a couple of times doing some house gigs. Okay. Um, but this will be the biggest venue supporting Kim, and yeah, I can't wait. I've literally. I mean, I've been singing every single night. So I literally, what could be better? Yeah. Cake in the day, singing by night. Sounds perfect. Really. <laughs> couple of funnier questions. Well, mm. I say funnier. But have you ever been in a situation where you've been starstruck? Ever met anyone that you're just thinking, oh my god? 
You know what? I don't often get that only because it's so funny, like in this music industry, how people do really get like that. And I, I'm kind of one of those really boring people that's just like, but it's another person. We mustn't put them too much on a pedestal. But in saying all of that, um, I did go and see Julie Andrews um, at the Apollo a couple of oh, years yeah. ago. And I love her. I think she's got one of the most incredible voices. And um, unfortunately, because she can't sing anymore, we well, yeah, didn't really get to hear her sing. But um, but she just talked about her life for two hours, oh. and it was absolutely amazing, absolutely incredible. Yeah, oh, lovely. that's always a good thing when you see someone that you love and they kind of live up to that standard. Yeah, that's always really and I've good. grown up watching her film, so yeah, it was brilliant. Oh. So favorite song at the minute? Mm, Have you got an favorite anthem song? At the minute? I love Jack Garrett's track called Weathered beautiful 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 love his yeah. stuff amazing musician and songwriter yeah. so yeah definitely, definitely. Yeah, favorite okay that's all we've got um i've been with anna and thanks for watching thank you <laughs>